10th standard social science revised textbook videos in this video let us see additional questions with answers of history chapter 4 opposition to british rule in karnataka and vadiyas of mysore how was the vadiyar dynasty started hadinadu was ruled by chamaraja he died without any sons the dalwai marnayaka of Karugalli demanded the princess in marriage to him. Nobody agreed for it. Yaduraya with his brother Krishnaraya from Dwaraka of Gujarat came to Mysore. Voluntarily, he came to help the Maharani and killed Maranayaka. This placed the Maharani who gave her daughter in marriage to him. Thus, the Vadiya dynasty was started. What were the achievements of Rajavadir? The credit of expanding the small Palayapattu into a large Mysore goes to him. Srirangapattana was made as his capital. The surrounding areas were occupied and expanded his kingdom. He revived the temples of Srirangapattana, Mysore and Melukote, Rajamudi. The crown was offered to Lord Chalvanarayana Swami. He started the Navratri festival in Mysore. The 18th century in Indian history is considered as the century of political problems. Why? The death of Aurangzeb, his death weakened the Mughal Empire. As a result, the Mughal lost political control over South India. A lot of political struggles took place in Carnatic region. Due to all these reasons, the 18th century in Indian history is considered as the century of political problems. What were the reasons for First Anglo-Mysore War? The prominence gained by Hyder Ali in South was not tolerated by the British, Marathas and the Nizam of Hyderabad. Hence the British started devising cunning plans to defeat Hyder Ali. Hyder Ali made attempts to have Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad on his sides with little success. The British entered into an agreement with the Marathas and the Nizam of Hyderabad against Hyder Ali. A three-party alliance emerged. What were the reasons for Second Anglo-Mysore War? The Madras Treaty had put the political developments in South India on a temporary hold. The British attempted to break the Madras Treaty. When Madhav Rao attacked Sri Rangpatna with the Maratha army, Hyderali expected the British to support him as per the Madras Treaty, but the British rejected the request of Hyderali. Mahid, the French colony, was under the hold of Hyderali. The British attacked Mahi and captured it. These were the reasons for Second Anglo-Mysore War. What were the reasons for Third Anglo-Mysore War? The political situation of Travancore was the main reason for this war. The king of Travancore built a fort in Kochi with the help of British. He captured Ayakutta and Kanganuru forts from the Dutch. All these were the clear breach of Manglu Treaty.
what were the reasons for fourth anglo mysore war tipu claimed his right over the malbar regions under the british occupation but the british refused to this argument tipu's closeness with the french angered lord wellesley further tipu sent an ambassador to france to seek the alliance of the french this enraged the british though they they thought that an alliance between france and tipu sultan would threaten the existence of british in india another treaty subsidiary alliance containing inhuman and impractical conditions was forced upon tipu sultan tipu rejected this his refusal started the fourth anglo mysore war what are the effects of fourth anglo mysore war tipu died while fighting against the british the british were happy as if the whole india came under their rule most of the territories under tipu's rule was shared among the british the marathas and the nizam of hyderabad a small territory was handed over to the royal representative of mysore wadiyas this reason came to be known as mysore princely state this were the effects of fourth anglo mysore war or the results of fourth anglo mysore war what were the achievements of diwan c ranga charlu he was an efficient administrator and liberal minded he established the mysore representative assembly he established gold mines in kolar he established bangalore mysore railway what were the achievements of diwan k sheshadri ayer as he had a vast experience of having worked in different positions he could understand the problems he improved the financial position of the state he was responsible for many new railway lines he started the mysore civil services examinations he gave more importance to irrigation special importance to girls education was given by establishing maharani's girls high school what were the achievements of chama rajendra wadiyar 10th during his period the mysore representative assembly was established during his period gold mines in kolar bengaluru mysore mysore railway lines were established he gave shelter to vivekananda when he came to mysore he helped vivekananda to participate in the parliament of world religion at chicago as he had a love towards kannada and sanskrit he patronized many scholars basappa shastri was important among them basappa shastri had written many books and was known as abhinava kalidasa basappa shastri has composed the state anthem of mysore kayo shri gauri which is the state anthem of mysore who composed it the state anthem of mysore is kayo shri gauri basappa shastri composed it name the diwan of krishna raj wadiyar 4th p n krishna murthy v p madhav rao saram vishweshwaraya kanta raja aras sir albion banerji sir mirja ismail name the industries built during the period of krishna raj wadiyar 4th the iron and steel factory cement factory paper mills at padravati sugar factory at mandya sandal oil factory at mysore soap factory at bangalore k 
ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಎಟ್ ಬೆಳಗುಳ ನೇಮ್ ದ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೃಷ್ಣರಾಜ್ ಒಡಿಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಎಂ ಹಿರಿಯಣ್ಣ ವೀಣಾ ಶೇಷಣ್ಣ ಸಾಂಬಯ್ಯ ಬಿದಾರಾಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪ್ಪ ಮುತ್ತಯ್ಯ ಭಾಗವತರ್ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಟಿ ಚೌಡಯ್ಯ ವಾಟ್ ವೆರ್ ದಿ ಅಚೀವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೆ ಎಚ್ ಚಾಮರಾಜ ಒಡಿಯರ್ he had his education in general and special colleges he toured the world and got good knowledge he had the services of divan mirza ismail nyapti madhav rav and arkat ramaswami mudliyar he was a great scholar museologist orator and a great patron of literature and fine arts he had written number of books and also composed many devotional songs he became the governor of mysore after india became independent explain the achievements of queen chennamma of kittur after the death of her husband malla sarja she took active interest in the administrative matters she adopted a boy named shivalingappa thakre sent a report to the governor of bombay and attempted to take over kittur kingdom under the doctrine of lapse policy janamma considered war as inevitable meanwhile the british also prepared themselves for the war in the battle thakre was shot dead many british were taken as the prisoners of war The British attacked Kittur again under the leadership of Colonel Deek. She was captured by the British army. Chennamma and others were imprisoned at Bailangal Fort. Queen Chennamma passed away in the prison. Let's move to question number 18. Explain the achievements of Veerappa of Koppal. Veerappa rebelled against the British and occupied the fort of Koppal and other forts. Many farmers and Zaminda supported after realizing his motives. The British contacted the Nizam and employed their army to defeat Veerappa. Veerappa who had lesser soldier died fighting the army of the British. The British captured back the fort of Koppal. Veerappa proved himself to be a good warrior. explain the rebellion of bedas of halagali the british banned the use of weapons the bedas who always kept guns as part of their customs and were good hunters they rebelled against the british when they were asked to surrender their firearms the bedas of manturu bodni alagundi and neighboring villages joined halagali bedas the british army entered halagali village to suppress the rebellion they suppressed the bedas in an inhuman way all the rebels were hanged to death